JJ the CPA here, hope you're doing well. So what's better than PPP for restaurants? It's the Restaurant Revitalization Fund Grant, and here's why. It's more, you can use it for almost anything related to your business in terms of ongoing expenses for your restaurant. You don't have to pay it back. You do not have any kind of tax effect, so it does not go on your top line, meaning it's not considered income. It does not reduce down your expenses. But the other reason this is better than PPP is that there is no forgiveness application process to go through. But here's the real reason that it's way better than PPP. It's not based on payroll. What it is, is you taking what it is that you made, your gross, in 2019, and then what did you do in 2020, and whatever that reduction is, you are going to get that amount of the Restaurant Revitalization Fund Grant. So all you got to do is go, well, what was my gross in 19? Subtract your gross in 2020, because if it was less, that's going to then give you the dollar amount that you lost on your gross in 2020. And that is literally the amount that you will get of this fund, this fund grant. Now, it is limited to $5 million per restaurant location and further limited to $10 million per business. So if you have a business with three restaurants, you would need to run your numbers here. It's a maximum of $10 million for your overall business but it's then up to $5 million per. Here's the thing. If your business grossed a $1 million, you don't even have to worry about that. If your business grossed less than $5 million in 19, that's irrelevant. It seems as though some are getting caught up on that when you haven't even grossed $5 million. There's a lot of small businesses out there, a lot of small restaurants, one location. Don't get caught up on that first hurdle because there isn't one. Here's what you need to know. What did you make in 2020? What did you make in 19? Was it less in 2020? Then what's that dollar amount? And this is the amount that you're getting that you can use for payroll, use it for food costs, your materials, for rent, for utilities. I'm going to give you a link to the SBA website with all of the details related to this. I will tell you this. As a CPA practicing now for 28 years, I am helping some clients with this, but I will tell you, the SBA has gone out of their way to be your best resource related to this issue. You really, in my opinion, don't need to sit around and wait for another professional that potentially is in your circle to take you by the hand. What you need to do is take this bull by the horns and then you take your professionals by the hand and pull them in to get you the documents that you need do not wait on this. The SBA has already confirmed that there's not going to be enough money to go around, but here's the good news. For the smaller restaurants, the smaller businesses, there is a special set aside for you. So go to the SBA website. They have a video on how to go about this. They have another video on your uh, application. They have a sample application for you to be able to follow. They go step by step by step on how you can go about and getting this. So whatever your restaurant is, so whether you're a food uh, caterer or food truck or food uh, trailer, if you will, uh, Coach's uh, Pit Barbecue out in California, IA, you're gonna qualify for this. A bakery, go to this website. It gives you a full list of the type of businesses that qualify for this. I want you to think for one second how much is it that you do in a week in your restaurant currently? Okay, Is it more than what you lost for the entire year on your gross in 2020? I'm assuming the answer is no. I'm assuming that if you were to look at what you grossed in 19 compared to what you did in 20, and assuming it's down, I would assume that dollar amount is way greater than what it is that you would make even on the gross 
in one week's time in your restaurant. The reason I'm telling you that is that you are not too busy to look at this. You are not too busy to get after this, get in the details and apply for this. Don't think it's for the other restaurants. It's for you or the other food trucks, caterers, bakeries, etc. So check this out. It is better than PPP because it's way more potential, up to $5 million. It's based on your gross. You don't pay it back. You have two years to use it. Literally, you have two years from May 11th, 2021 to that May 11th in 2023 to use up this money. If you don't use it up, you just return it. But there's no application process at the end. There's nothing in essence stopping you from applying for this. So I want you to check it out. All right. Hey, thanks for tuning in. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. And then don't you ever forget, you've never met a CPA quite like me.